here we are at the Pocono Raceway for the running of the Pocono 250 and our next stop on the Target Series. On the pole is the 88 Vila Everett, who's outside the 89 John West. Then third you have Jose Fernandez, fourth Jennifer Buford, running out the top five points there, Joe Jefferson. Then two is outside in sixth you have Levi Shones, seventh Christian Parker, eighth Joe Sandrovich, ninth John Gimmer, running out the top ten is Steve Morgan. Then for the rest of you, I got Co Luigi, who won the truck race here yesterday. Two is inside Wyatt Walker. They have Isaac Nichols and Jim Gambit, along with Marco Chippez, and then Jonathan Rain. They have Tim Randolph and Alex Stewart, Michael Sanders, and then Jay Jefferson, along with Jonathan Buford and Juan Garcia. They have Adam McDowell and Justin Zeidel, along with Hunter Powers and Justin Heath. Then Roland Emmerich and Max Anderson, along with Marcus Sachi and Steve Larker. Then Colton Young and James McCurrigan, along with Alexander Rowland and TJ Hanley. Jake Galloway and Jeff Wright, Gatlin Downey and Luke Rainey, Jason Larker and Michael Ferris, rang up the family farm row, Rowan Cook in the 87, two is outside the 09 Patrick Smith. As you're starting lap here at Pocono, Eli Bright in the pole, let's go down to and get the command. On behalf of the many great folks at Bass Pro Shops, Tracker and MBA, gentlemen, start your engines! Business as usual today, buddy. Hi, it's Eddie. You received up a little tug for it, buddy. You're ready to rock and roll. Buddy, be ready here now. Fill that thing out real good here for the first lap or so. Make sure you got a good feel for it. Plenty of Pennsylvania names in the field here today. One of them starts third, another in eighth, some others further back. Pace Carl make the left turn turn into pit rows. They come down this long and wide front stretch. 15 laps around Pocono. Who gets the victory in the, in the Pocono 250? Eli Bright, Sean West on the front row as they come down to the restart zone. Green flag in the air. We're racing at Pocono. Jose Fernandez already looks to the bottom lane as they come down the back stretch into the tunnel turn. Eli does get clear that. He is your race leader from the pole. Find them some contact being made. They make it through the tunnel turn for now. And down the short shoot. John West does get to second. Jeffrey Buford trying to clear for third. Fernandez drafted to the bottom lane. Off of three left, one will be led by your pole sir, Eli Bright. The 88 car out front of Pocono. He leads left one. Jose Fernandez does get to the third position in the 22 with the bottom lane run through turn three. Now Joe Jefferson, your points there, trying to get to the inside of Jennifer Buford to make it a show for fourth. But Buford does get cleared that, now it's battle for fifth as Joe Jefferson moves to the inside. Levi Shones will move up the track. He'll grab the fifth position down this back stretch as Jose Fernandez does go for the second position. But it's now going to be bound for third with Jennifer Buford. He gets up in line, but Buford with the crossover to the bottom lane. It's the battle for third. Levi Shones now joining into this battle. Buford got a little loose down low. Here comes Shones now for the fourth position entering turn three. He drives it to the bottom. Pushes the 62 up the track. This is the battle for fourth on track. Jose Androve just made his way up to the top five. He's fifth. He's pushing Shones down this front stretch. Across the stripe they go. Car shuffling all over the place. Trying to get the draft. Trying to find the right lanes through one, through turn number one. Shones trying to clear Jeff Buford down low. It's very hard to make a pass down low. He stays to the middle lane now as they come off of turn number one. Down the back stretch of the three car breakaways. John West gets to the back bumper of Eli Bright down this long time straight. Well, look at the run for Joe Jefferson driving to the inside of Sandrovich for the fifth, or excuse me, sixth position. Jefferson contact with Sandrovich almost up into the wall. As they now race off into turn three, this flat turn three. Still trying to run down Eli Bright. Not close enough to make a move. Right now the top five pretty orderly. Sixth is now Joe Jefferson, your points leader. It's the battle for seventh. Christian Parker on the forward to the inside. Joe Sandrovich, that's seventh and eighth on track. Sandrovich will give it up as Parker goes on by. The 20 car now back to eighth. Is looking for the race lead. West trying to get to the inside of Eli. Jose Fernandez takes advantage, goes all the way to the bottom lane, but cannot get the run going. Here comes Buford back for the third position in the 62 as they hit the tunnel turn. Hard, almost into the 22 cars, looking for the race lead, John West pressuring Eli Bright, but can't make the pass work. 
And Eli pulls away through three. They come off of that corner down the front stretch. Now for third once again. Jeff Buford back out of line. Jose Fernandez does have the draft. Schoen's trying to get to the outside of the 62 to make a pass. He does get out there. This could really help him through one and two. If he has enough of a run, he can get through and by the 62 in turn one. Look at Levi Schoen's going to make the outside work to get to the fourth position. Beefer, one small mistake down the front stretch. going to cost her at least one spot, maybe even two. Is now points there. Joe Jefferson looks to the inside. She means the outside for the fifth position. Don't like the outside of the tunnel turn, though. You might lose a spot here to Christian Parker in the 40. As Parker will get by Joe Jefferson for sixth. And Sam George now going to try and go for seventh. As Joe Jefferson stuck in the outside and might be backing up here. The guy Shones trying to attack Jose Fernandez for third. As they come down this front stretch, still this battle right here for the seventh position. Joe Sandrovich clears the number 20 car up to the seventh position. Here comes John West for the race lane in turn one. He's on the inside lane. As we mentioned, through turn one, you want to be on the outside. And Eli Bright will clear John West easily as they come off of turn number one. Now look at Jose Fernandez once again for that second position. As Levi Shones now to his outside. Shones might take advantage to get to the third position. Can the 22 car keep it down low in the tunnel turn? Or does Shones get the great run off that corner? Now it looks like Shones might lose a spot right here. Fernandez doing a great job on the bottom lane. But Schoen's keeping it tough out there. And now Levi Schoen's might fall back. Look at the run he has through three, though, on the outside lane. Not going to work for him. But can he keep that fourth position? Here's Jeff Buford clear once again to get back to fourth. 62 to fourth. Parker and Schoen's now battle side by side for fifth. Jose Androvich in the battle. He's seventh. He's going to be going for sixth. He might go three wide. Three wide, tight down lows for the race. Once again, John Wesley with a run on Eli Bright. He might stay side by side with him down this long pine straightaway. This could help him. Can't stay to the inside Bright, but will drive it into the tunnel turn. Buford for third. Might be for second. Parker and Levi Schoen still bound for fifth. Schoen still up top, Parker still down low. And still for third, Jeff Buford trying to clear Jose Fernandez and have a shot at the front two. Behind them, Sandrovich and Jefferson still battle side by side. Jeff Buford has gotten to third. Now seven laps into the race. And Eli Bright is pulled away from John West in the 89. But West with a few pushes there from the 62 or some others. Might be able to run down that 88 car. Levi Schoen's on the top side still. Will clear and keep the fifth position. As Joe Sandrovich looks on Christian Parker for sixth. All over the place that 40 was maintaining his lane. Sandrovich might drive to the inside of the 40 car right here into the tunnel. Saw him peeking low. Can't do anything with him. Update on your truck winner, Luigi, right now just outside the top 10 in around 12th position, I believe. 32 car. Having a decent run. He's up there in the points, so good run for Luigi, Trying to keep th that position up there in points and try to get one before the chase starts to possibly get into the chase. Up ahead, cars moving out of line just a little bit, sneaking down this front stretch, trying to get the draft. Eli Bright has seven laps away from a Target Series victory. It's been a while for Eli Bright, Bright since he's won in the top two series. Target Series all the way back in season number three when he went three in a row. Gary Cup Series been all the way since season number four, January 4th. So he's looking to try and break out of that funk here today. So they get single file towards the front. It's the first battle out of line. Joe Jefferson getting hit by, I believe that's his teammate, John Gamet in the 38 down low. That's for the eighth position. There could be a tire up on that 30. Look at Jeff Beaver for second. She's been charging up front all race long. And now down the front stretch, she'll be side, with, side by side with the A9 to six laps to go this time. Levi Schoen's moving underneath Jose Fernandez for fourth. Six to go at Pocono. That's 2.5 miles around each time. Look at how the pack is kind of Single filed out here at the front, and then there are some battles. Look at Jose Fernandez going to go for third as Jeff Beaver goes down low. Fernandez trying to get the high, wide, and handsome run off of turn number one. He does stay beside the 62 and might grab the third position back. Jose Fernandez back to third in the 22 car. Christian Parker for fourth as Jeff Beaver stays to the inside lane. Levi Schultz and Joe Sandroge back there battling. Parker and Jeff Beaver take it up the track. Still side by side behind them. 
as that's for the, I believe that's the sixth position on track. Joe San George trying to clear Levi Jones. As a run through three. And all over the back of Christian Parker as they come down the front stretch. Seeing five laps to go. The yellow comes out. The race is over. Sean West peaking low on the 88. He does move to the inside. Fernandez going to try and take second away. Into one. John West down low. Jose Fernandez up top trying to take that position. He gets to the outside of the 89. He'll get by him as they come off of turn number one and down the back stretch. Jose Andrews, I think, has just cleared Levi Schoen's for sixth. West tried to come out. Jeff Beaver is up there. And now does Fernandez have a run for Eli Bright entering the tunnel. I think Fernandez is a car you have to keep an eye out on. 22 cars look pretty stout here today. Car in the wall back there. I believe it's the one of Jay Jefferson. I believe they've kept it going. No slow cars, no caution. Yes, I think it was the one of Jay Jefferson. He looks like he has some damage to the right side of his machine. And into the wall, tough break there. He's just running outside the top 20. We look ahead at the battle for the race lead. It's with four laps left. John West on the back bumper of Fernandez. Moves to the inside of the 2201. Not going to be enough, though. Back there, Jeff Buford and Joe George battling in the 20. Very tight down low. I mean, really tight. He just lost about two, three positions because of that move. Can we keep it clean the rest of the race and go a whole race green flag? Fernandez trying to charge on Eli Bright. Eli's had the whole race. He's at 11. It'll be 12 laps this time by as Buford peaks low on the 89, the 40. Jeff Buford trying to get back up towards the front, trying to go for fourth right here. And Steve Murray is way up to, to sixth position. Great run for that 919. Joe San George kicked back to the seventh position. We see three laps to go. Eli Bright's led 12 laps. Here today, it's been 12 laps completed. Can he hold off the 22 to get to victory lane? Fernandez trying everything he knows to try and get by that 88 car. To the inside here off of one. Gets tight and loose. Looked like it was tight and he had to try and chase up the track. And then it got really loose sideways and almost spun out. And that gives the 88 some distance here. We come around to C2 to go five miles. For second, West trying to get underneath Jose Fernandez to have a shot. They come off the tunnel. Some separation there. Off into three. Two laps left this time. Eli Bright starting on pole. He's at every lap so far today. But he has the 22 and the A9 charging hard. Two laps left. It's a five-car race. John West peaks on Jose Fernandez. Two laps left. Who has it? Who doesn't? Jose Fernandez stays clear of the A9. He will have a shot. Eli, once again, looking to the inside of turn number one. This time is a nose. But does the 88 have the run off the top? He is a little bit faster on the top lane, down the back stretch. Can Fernandez drive it hard to the corner and have a shot? Into the tunnel turn. Fernandez trying to drive it hard. Gets really tapped the track. John West also at the track. Jeff Beaver may take advantage and get all the way to second. Coming to the white flag for Eli Bright. The 88 car has led every lap so far today. They bow for second behind. Down the front stretch. White flag for Eli Bright. Can he bring it home? One more lap, 2.5 miles. Wait flag for the 88. As they battle for second behind, Eli just has to make it through three more corners. Off into one as the battle for second. Jose Fernandez trying to hold off Jeffrey Buford. With the run off the top, the 22 might be able to do that. They come down Long Pond Trailway for the final time here today. Fernandez is clear, but he doesn't have a run for Eli Bright. Off into the tunnel turn. Moves being made. Eli is out ahead. Oh, crash! Sandro and Schultz get to the wall. They save it. We're still going for now. But the 15 and the 20 have lost positions into turn three. Eli Bright will dominate the Pocono 250 lead all 15 laps and get to victory lane. Eli Bright back to victory lane in the target series. The 88 car wins at Pocono. And Eli Bright with a dominant performance, leading every lap to win at Pocono. We saw two cars get into the wall in the tunnel turn. Levi Shones and Joe Sandrovich. Shones is up 17th. Sandrovich 20th. They were in the top 10 there as they came into turn two. Eli Bright dominates, and he'll win at Pocono. Let's go check the finishing results.
Here are the finishers also in the Pocono 250 at Pocono. There were no caution flags and one driver who led this race, Eli Bright, who started on pole, does end up winning, leading all 15 laps. Jose Fernandez ends up second, Jennifer Buford third, John West fourth, Steve Morgan fifth, Christian Parker sixth, Cole Luigi got up to the seventh position there at the end, your trick uh, winner yesterday at Pocono, doing a great job here in the Target Series. Joe Jefferson, your points leader, ends up eighth, John Gambit in ninth, and John Thorne's rounds out the top ten. So there's your top 20. We mentioned Levi Schultz and Joe Sandro, which were running in the top 10 at the end of the race. Both got into the wall in the tunnel turn. and end up 17th and 20th. As uh, uh, Joe Jefferson does keep the points lead, but the gap has closed just a little bit as Jeff Beefer was second in points, and she ends up third, Jefferson eighth. So just a little bit of points there that the 62 team gained. Got these drivers not having the races they wanted as Jay Jefferson did get into the wall there in the mid part of the race and fell back to the third or fourth position. Obviously, when you get into the wall, the handling goes away on the car. That's why he probably finished farther back. Let's go look at the point standings. Here are points after Pocono. Joe Jefferson does keep the points lead with another top 10 this season, but Jeff Beaver has clawed her way up to second, only 42 back at that points lead. Luigi up to third, still without victory, but up to third in points, only 115 back of Joe Jefferson. Eli Brett, that win is now up to fourth. He has five top fives this season. Outstanding season for the 88 team so far. And Jonathan Beaver rounds out the top five. Then Gene Gamut is sixth. Steve Morgan is seventh. Joe Sandro is eighth. Jose Fernandez is ninth. And Levi Shones rounds out the top ten. So there's your top 20. Got some drivers with wins up here in the top 20. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drivers in the top 20. Remember, top or uh, 12 drivers make it in. You have to be top 30 points with a win. So right here, ninth is Alexander Rowe. 10th is Justin Heath. Those are the only drivers that make it in with wins so far. Justin Zedell also with the win, but down below 30th in points. Right now, that cut line is held by Jonathan Reigns in the nine. By only four points over Colton Yo. We look down at the rest. Hunter Powers with the win, but I don't think he's going to have enough to make that chase. So since we have 10 winners, the other two would go on points. It would be Joe Jefferson and Cole Luigi. That would get in. Jefferson, of course, always going to get in no matter what, as long as he's the points leader. And then Cole Luigi, of course, the highest, next highest without a win. So the next race will be again on the northeast swing, the Watkins Glen or the Finger Lakes 200 at Watkins Glen. See you guys then.